if you have a property or land with a ton of weeds like we do we saw that uh if you cover it in plastic black plastic and let it sit the weeds won't grow so here's unveiling we did this is where we're gonna this is where we want to plant all the pumpkins and watermelons Got it. This, no, 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 I'm folding it that way, Bubba. Wow, it's like fresh dirt right underneath it. Look at that. Wow. Look, you can see the weed line right there. Perfect. Don't want all this on there. But almost impossible to keep the weeds out of here. That is super cool. Yeah. Now we're going to use the bricks here and make a little, uh, border around here and this is where we will uh, we will uh, grow the watermelons and pumpkins this year down here while we're at it check out the strawberries strawberries so and then right here we have our first little pop of a raspberry right there and kiwi right there and my favorite i can't wait to start producing the donut peach tree it's a pretty little bloom all the other trees are popping getting ready for next weekend hulk wants to be heard hi mr hulk and yeah all right time to uh border this guy off and uh Till it up and get ready for uh, next weekend to start planting the seeds. Hey, hey, hey! Happy Mother's Day weekend! Like my new hat? Got my new uh, gardening farmer's hat. Since it's getting warm out here, uh, it's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday, Mother's Day. So tomorrow will be our pots, plots. All the planting and all the seeds will go in tomorrow. Today, I'm gonna finish the tea garden planter. This guy. So what I gotta do, drill some holes. Choo -choo -choo. Drill the holes in there so the water can uh, drain out and then fill it with some dirt. So let's do that. Good morning! <clears throat> Happy Mother's Day! It is May 9th, 2021. And it's Mother's Day. And the rule of thumb out here is that we learn that you don't plant your seeds until Mother's Day. Well, it's Mother's Day, so it's time for planting. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, finishing up my little tea garden area. I have four different teas here. I have chamomile, lemon balm, Rosemary, it's windy, and peppermint. So I have the four there. I'm gonna plant into the different tiers. And I have this thing, it's called the seed square. It's really awesome. Well, I think it's really awesome. I haven't used it yet. This will be your first time. But it has all the different color so like depending on your seeds and how far they, the instructions say to plant them apart so if they say an inch apart two inches apart three inches apart there's different color cording, coordinates to tell you which ones to do um, I'll show you more of that when I'm doing the garden plots next uh, I'm not going to use it much for the tea garden right here what I am going to use out of it is it comes with this little pencil type thing, but you can see the inches. So if it says plan inch deep, two inches deep, three inches deep, and then this little thing right here 
is for seeds. So you scoop the seeds up and then you drop it into the hole. So let's uh, get going with the tea garden area and we'll uh, get back to you when we're done and starting the plots. And the TD garden's all done. Planted all the seeds. Uh, I probably should have marked which ones I did, huh? <laughs> so I know I put rosemary at the very top because those look like they grow taller. So I put rosemary at the top and then I put lemon balm on this second one right there. And then I did peppermint which are the smallest seeds I think I've ever seen before hopefully I got them in there and the third one right here that one two three up is now peppermint and I know for a fact I won't forget I put the chamomile which is my favorite the very bottom so I filled that whole square up down there with chamomile so we'll see now what will grow hey look two little lizards hello guys Hey, little guys. This guy's gonna try to catch you. You think you can get him? Looks like they might be fighting. Are you gonna fight me? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. They went away. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, too fast for you. Can't catch him. <laughs> nope. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's go inside and go get my book on what I've been planning for these guys and we'll start our plots. Daddy's tilling the dirt. All right. All right, here's my little um, notebook binder where I keep notes of everything. Um, as you can see, our property, we've, when we moved in, obviously there's nothing here, so we've been planting. So you can see I have a ton of Things numbered, obviously the dome, garden one, two, our entrance. Um, here's garden one, our plots, um, where I've, our blueberries and boysenberries are. And here's garden two, which we haven't done much, <laughs> except for I planted one um, uh, that is a hibiscus that's actually growing back. Now here's the numbers to everything. So I marked down, um, the name when we planted it and where we bought it from so I can keep track of it all. Um, this is the orchard now, so I started the orchard one. Now here's what I've been working on is my uh, plots. So I've been doing research on um, my plots on the square footages and oh, all my things fell up. Um, where I'm going to plant different things. So here's like plot one, we got corn, carrots, onion one, onion two, and then sunflowers. This one I have sunflower, sunflower, and blank. We'll see what I can fill in right there. Sunflower, sunflower, garlic, green onion. And then this is where we're going to do cucumbers on the trellis Scott built, and then the two tomatoes with the tomato cages. So. There we are. So let's start with this uh, kind of crazy one right here. The first one, we've got corn, we got carrots, got two onions, and we got the dwarfs, teddy bear, sunflowers. And the sun comes in this way, beaming in. So that's why I did the sunflowers and they're dwarfs, so it'll be smaller, but at least it'll give a little bit of shade to these guys. Corn will obviously grow very tall, so I put that in the back. And yeah, all right, let's go get started. All right, we're out here, first plots right here. We're actually gonna keep those collard greens in the corner right there, so we'll just go around those. So as you can see, we're gonna do our corn, carrots, onion, onion, and dwarf teddy bear sunflowers. So I brought them out right here. And let's see, we have... Let me open one. Okay, we're not opening it right now, hold on. We will, we will. 
So let's see, we have, um, we're gonna do. Oh, what's this? Jackpot what's Hybrid this, Sweet Corn. What's this? These are the Kaleidoscope Carrots. Ooh. So I've actually never seen this before. I'm obviously still newbie, but check this out. They're, they come in these like paper that the seeds are already in it. So all you have to do is just dig a trench and then lay this down in the trench and then that will grow them. So we'll try those out. So we have those guys, the Kaleidoscope Blend. Then we have a Texas Grano Onion. And then we have a Walla Walla Onion. And then in the front, we're gonna do these dwarf teddy bear sunflowers. So we're gonna use our seed square cedar right here. They're so soft, they like teddy bear, huh? We'll see. Come, whoa. Okay, let's get started. Whoa. Okay, so here's the seed square, and I already measured these out before during the winter when I was making my plans right here. So I can fit three. These are square foot. So one. Let's see, one, two, we can fit three across easily. Um, so we're gonna do that, and then we're, I put four per square foot, so that means we're gonna use the blue dots, and then we'll poke the holes, and then we'll put this, the corn in those ones, and then we'll do two rows of those. So, this guy's gonna be my helper, and we're gonna get going, let's go. Okay, we got the corn done. Next, we're doing the carrots, which I said is different because it's the strips that we're gonna do. So we'll do we'll do some strips in the center there because I have it laid out one square foot of carrots. So we'll just do a square footage and then dig little trenches and put those in the trenches. All right, let's try this out next. There goes, we got corn, we got the carrots, and it's windy. My heck is blown away. Next is the two onions. And Scotty's learning our little seed square thing. And I told him we need to do inch apart. So we use the, which colors are we using this time? Red. We're doing the reds. Right? Okay. No, we're doing yes. Yellow. No, we're doing the red ones. Oh, what? So we're going to do 16 per square foot, and we're going to do two rows, one of each. All right, you ready? Get up! Get down! Okay, let's go. Ready for number pot number two. In the back over here, we got mammoth sunflowers. Then we got a hybrid chanty hybrid flower. I think I said that right. Uh, then we're gonna do bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, and then in the front, I'm gonna do some parsley, cilantro, and basil. Let's get started. time to do some of the sunflowers and we already started some of the sunflowers uh, indoors as you can see chicantes I think Scott said they're called sunflowers have already started sprouting um, so we're gonna go ahead and put those six right here and then we're gonna do we have some mammoth sunflowers that have already started sprouting so they're gonna put the three that already started sprouting right here in the back mammoths and then do three seeds so then we have different 
timings of them growing and blooming so they're not all blooming at the same time. So, alright, let's finish off plot two. Alright, plot number three. Velvet Queen Sunflower, Busy Bee Sunflower, Garlic, Chives, Green Onions. And one done, two done. Here goes number three. on to the last plot of the day and we are doing tomatoes and cucumbers in this plot so Scott made me the cool little trellis so I'm gonna do the cucumbers going up the trellis and then I have my tomato cages right here to do the tomatoes all right let's wrap this up and get these guys done and then that one's still empty I didn't plant for plan for a fifth plot, so there's already a lot of leftover sunflowers going in that one, but we'll probably throw more stuff in there. Um, but for the day, let's just wrap up this guy. And that's a wrap for what I did. We got our baby tomatoes in there. We got our cucumbers in there. And we have all the other items we, we planted today. Mother's Day has turned into one of my favorite holidays if this is how they're always gonna be. Planting, plants, start growing. All right, daddy did a bunch of stuff down in the orchard. I, I had the camera so he didn't get it. So I think he's going to go give an update on what he did down there. All right. See you later. Into the orchard we go. All right, a little update on uh, what I've been doing down here while Amy and Scotty were up in the, the garden planting a bunch of stuff on the plots up there. We've made this plot down here. So... Some of the things that we've got in here are Big Max pumpkins. I put a, lay, a line of uh, watermelon seeds. Is that watermelon? There's, you can't see the watermelon right there. That is a uh, watermelon. That's watermelon. Some more watermelons mixed in with some pumpkins, mixed in with some, uh, I am blanking, uh, sunflowers. The Chianti sunflowers are kind of a purple black sunflower. So, I'm gonna let a little bit of this grow up and then maybe fill in where I can with other stuff. And then over here, we've got some more sunflowers, strawberries that she was showing. That we've got some flowers. These are strawberries right there. And those are strawberries. Strawberries, are those your favorite? And then I uh, planted some gourds. Over along there gourds, next to the, gourds, uh, gourds, to the gourds, raspberry gourds, bush. Gourds, gourds. So, oh, as you can see, I've lost a little something. It's summertime, getting warm out. Had to cut the beard. So, update on peach trees popping. It's getting spider webs. Peach tree's doing good. My beard is growing back, but it will not stay for long. Uh, which one is this? The pear? A banjo pear, semi dwarf. Got a couple flowers. Not expecting much out of these. Apple's doing good over there. Apple's doing good over there. Uh, almond is one that is not doing much. There's like a couple little small sprouts. Every time I talk on this camera, little dude, he just goes crazy. Yeah, we hear you. 
Another apple tree doing good. And the cherry tree is wanting to pop, but has not popped. You can see some of the sprouts coming out of there, there. We've got green sprouts coming out of the bottom that I've picked off. Chickens are just crazy. Got a little surprise coming. Uh, maybe next month. I won't say much about it now, but you don't have no surprise there, boy. And then uh, grapes. Grapes are taking off. Looking good. These are Merlot grapes. Merlot. Not for eating, see if we can make a little uh, home brew. So, alright, next up, I'm going to go check out the bees.